Hey guys, Dan here, and today I'm going to show you how to change the edger blade on your stick edger. And this is going to hold true for Steel Echo, Red Max, Hesvana, Shindawa, most any type of edger that's considered a stick edger, meaning it's like a weed eater. Uh, it's all going to be the same, no, pretty much no matter what the brand is. So this is a generic, not a brand specific uh, video. Okay, so we went over the anatomy of an edger not too long ago when I did a how to edge video. Uh, so you know you got your shield, your wheel, you got your blade, you got your mounting bolt, and you got your little adapter that sandwiches it on, right? So as you spin the blade around, there's a hole right, right there, all right? So they give you usually a fancy tool, and it's going to have the little small little rod when you buy like a decent brand, like a steel or an echo, usually the tool's there. But what if you don't have that tool, if you bought one, um, off the shelf like you got a split shaft weed eater from a big box store and you got the split shaft edger for 70 bucks uh, Same blade. It works the same. Okay um, It's gonna have the same type hole right here So basically you're just gonna take anything flat or small I mean like a small screwdriver and line up in that hole and what that's gonna do is it's gonna lock your blade So now your blade can't spin next thing you're gonna do if they gave you a tool that fits the nut, you're gonna use that. If not, then you're gonna find just a socket and wrench that fits this nut. For this particular model steel, it's a three quarter, three quarter inch, okay? The biggest thing to remember is it's opposite thread. Because the blade spins this way, if this nut makes contact with anything on the ground while the blade's spinning this way, you don't want it to come loose. So they have it reverse thread. So you're gonna tighten the bolt in order to loosen it. Reverse thread. Now, if you need to, wear gloves and be safe, all right? But that's it, okay? And this is my first time taking this off. That's about how tight they are factory. They're not very, very, very tight. Okay, once you do that, undo the nut. Don't drop your nut. Here's a little adapter. Don't lose it. And here's the blade. It's got a one inch hole in the middle and they're usually like seven and three quarter inches long. All right. This one came on the machine. It's a steel blade. I'm putting on the blades that I always use and I link to them in my video description in the comment section. And these are nice unpainted. You get like 25 blades or something like that for less than 50 bucks. And there you go. Now all you do is pop this back on. Just like you took the other one off, put the adapter right here and then get your nut and put the nut back on. And now you're going to loosen it or as if you were loosening it, but that's actually going to tighten it. Now you're tightening it. And then righty tighty lefty loosey that goes out the window with these edgers. It's opposite thread. So keeping the little stick jammed in here to keep the blade from spinning go ahead and put a little snug on it go ahead and put a little more snug on it and that's it now what you want to pay attention to is anything that might be built up right in here you want to clean that out if you have to use your old blade use a screwdriver sometimes this will get all built up and you don't know it because you have a smaller blade now you got a bigger blade and sometimes the blade will get stuck. So make sure that it free spins and look at it. It shouldn't be wobbling or anything like that. Just make sure it looks good and you're done. You just change the blade on your edger just like that. Lock it down, opposite thread. Remember that righty tighty, lefty loosey goes out the window with edgers. Now it's righty loosey, lefty tighty. Okay, that's it guys, it's that simple. Uh, hope you guys have a great day, a great weekend, and happy edging.